Here's the latest situation of one of our favorite gaming laptops and probably the one with the best price to performance ratio, ROG Strix G17. It has 16 core AMD Ryzen 9 7945HX, up to RTX 4070 and just the right amount of RGB lines. Let's go! First off, let's talk ergonomics and build quality. This is not a light machine, so if you're looking for something to carry around with you at all times, the ROG Zephyrus G14 or even the ROG Strix G15 are better options. While they don't bring as much power, they are much more manageable in terms of weight. The Strix G17 weighs 2.8 kilos or 6.17 pounds in freedom units. The thickness is measured at 23.4 millimeters at the front and 30.8 millimeters at the back which is okay, considering all the cooling back there. You get an aluminum lid while the rest of the chassis is plastic. The laptop is quite strong and there isn't any noticeable flexing when we try to strong arm it. The lid opens with one hand, which is another sign of good build quality. This allows us to see the screen with its thin bezels and the much needed webcam, which Asus brought back in the 2022 model after foregoing it in the past. From the open position, we can see the keyboard with white WASD keys and a per-key RGB backlighting setup that illuminates each button individually. As the base is large, there's tons of space for your hands, as well as a numpad and a full array of media keys. The large base also means that ASUS hasn't skipped on the touchpad. It has a nice size to it, but more importantly, it's super smooth and responsive. The speakers are mounted on the bottom where you'll find tons of heat vents. However, the hot air is still exhausted from the back and the sides. You'll learn more about it in the sound and cooling sections respectively. For I.O., there are ports only on the left and back sides. Starting from the back, there are two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C ports, an HDMI 2.1 FRL port and a LAN connector. On the left, there are two full-size USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports and an audio jack. Now, let us introduce you to the fantastic display on the Strix G17. It's a fabulous 17.3-inch Quad HD unit. Here's the model number if you want to get into specifics. With a 240Hz refresh rate, G-Sync support, a 12.4 milliseconds gray-to-gray -gray response time, and a MUX switch, which allows the GPU to connect directly to the screen, thus yielding better performance. This is a flagship screen with excellent viewing angles, a peak brightness of 344 nits and very good brightness uniformity, so you know that every part of the screen gets equally bright. Moreover, the panel covers 99% of the sRGB gamut which is used for web and graphic design as well as 95% of the DCI-P3 gamut, which is the standard gamut for digital cinema production. This is the perfect time to also mention our display profiles, which massively improve the design capabilities of the laptop. With it, the screen becomes a lot more color accurate, going from a delta E value of 3.3 to a delta E value of 1.2. For your information, any value below 2.0 is considered accurate. So with our profiles, you're making sure the laptop can handle any type of creative workflow. You can find links for them in the description below and in the pop-up above. The speakers on the laptop are quite loud and the sound coming off is decent. However, we detect audio deviations across the entire frequency range. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Testing the performance of the Strix G17 was a pleasure, as the laptop brings one of the most powerful laptop CPUs that you can get, the Ryzen 9 7845HX, a 12-core, 24-thread chip. You can also find the laptop with the bigger Ryzen 9 7945HX, which offers 16 cores and 32 threads. In our 3D rendering benchmark, the Ryzen 9 beats out a lot of the 17.3-inch competition, including the Acer Nitro 17 and the Razer Blade 17. The difference isn't small either, so the Strix G17 is certainly a strong performer. However, in 2D rendering, where single core performance is more important, we can see the power Intel has to offer as the Nitro 17 and Blade 17 get first and second place respectively. This is a gaming notebook after all, so let's check out some GPU benchmarks. This laptop is equipped with a 140 watt RTX 4060. However, you can also select the 4050 and 4070 GPUs, which come with the same power limit. 
In synthetic benchmarks, the 4060 realizes its potential, matching the same GPU inside the Nitro 17 and outperforming the 105 watt version in the Katana 17. Now come the gaming tests, which we've done plenty of using this GPU. All of the games are tested on an external monitor at 1080p for comparison purposes. You can expect a bit lower FPS on a QHD resolution, but still above 60 FPS. We start off with Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which runs at 107 FPS on the highest preset. Hey! Cuidado, niños! The next game is Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which produces consistent results that you can compare to rival laptops and GPUs. The RTX 4060 averages 106 FPS on the ultra high preset. Lastly, let's test the GPU's performance with Cyberpunk 2077, which is notoriously a harder game to run, thanks to the many NPCs that are always running around. At ultra settings, we get an average of 88 FPS. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Rayfield's mine. What? What are you doing? If you think we missed your favorite game, chances are we've got it tested with this GPU on our Laptop Media Benchmarks channel, where we test the most popular GPUs in a bunch of games. When gaming, immersion is important, so excessive heat and noise can certainly ruin all of that. In the case of the Strix G17, you get a very serious cooling setup with four heat pipes and two fans, as well as heat spreaders and all the like. In the CPU stress test, the Ryzen 9 chip maintains a clock speed of well over 4 GHz, with a peak temperature of 93 degrees Celsius, which is a bit hot. The GPU maintains a constant clock speed of 2565 MHz and a TGP of 102 watts even after 15 minutes of stress testing. These results don't make the laptop super loud, as while there is some noise, it's nothing to worry about. The outside temperature is pretty low too, at just 34.5 degrees Celsius. The battery life is where we're not happy at all, as these powerful components make it so the laptop doesn't last long in our tests. You get only 4 hours and 38 minutes of web browsing, or 3 hours and 16 minutes of video playback. Lastly, the upgradability of the Strix G17 might be the most important part, as you need at least some degree of future proofing. Once you take the bottom panel off, which happens easily if you follow our teardown guide, link down below and in the pop-up right here, you're greeted by two SODIMM slots for up to 64GB of DDR5 dual-channel memory, as well as two M.2 PCIe X4, both of which support Gen 4 SSDs. All in all, this is one of the upper echelon laptops in ASUS's ROG portfolio and it has all the bells and whistles to prove it. You're not only getting a fantastic screen that's ready for high-level video production and content creation, as well as countless hours of gaming. Yes, you're compromising with the battery life, however, most of the time these big laptops are used at home or at an office, where a power socket is readily available. I'm probably a bit biased, but you should know that you are one click away from the best and most in-depth review of G17 on laptopmedia.com. The best site ever.